And we here at 2 News, like all of you, are counting down to the veteran Dayton Air Show. This weekend, upwards of 60,000 people will watch some very gifted pilots take to the skies here. But this morning, a lucky student had the chance to take flight with one of those talented pilots. 2 News anchor Katie Houston live at Dayton International Airport with her story. Yeah, Mark, that's right. The Young Eagles essay contest has been offered now for three years here at the Vector and Dayton Air Show. 106 entrants this year. I'm told that's an all time high. One lucky winner. And she says on a scale of one to 10, the experience today flying high above us with Sean D. Tucker was an 11. And I think you'll see why. A flight of a lifetime for a Miami Valley team. She had come home one night and she said, Mom, I've heard about this essay contest where if you submit the essay, you could win a flight with Sean Tucker. I'd really like to do it. And I said, okay. <laughs> Tip High School sophomore Megan Reed becomes Young Eagle number 1,999,867, flying with world-renowned pilot Sean D. Tucker. It's all about STEM, and science, technology, engineering, and math, but the kids don't know. They're going, it's the freedom of flight. These kids are magnificent. They're our futures. And to inspire them for me is an honor. Megan wrote about what these flights would mean to her. And as her mom explains, it's the runway to a big dream. She wants to be a rocket scientist one day and go to Mars. And she said, Mom, this is my first step to Mars. All smiles back here on Earth. You got an astronaut on your hands. Well, <laughs> did you have fun? Absolutely. It was, it was amazing, the flights, and we did some loops, and you could feel the G-forces pulling on my body, and it was just awesome. Totally better than what I expected. Your, your mom said you never... She's one to watch, right? A bright, bright future. And it's pretty cool because the Young Eagles program will be celebrating its two millionth ride by the end of this summer. So cool stuff there. Okay, as for the air show, Saturday and Sunday, gates open at 9 a.m. Both days close at 6 p.m. You can buy your tickets at the gates, but a little bit of a tip if you want to save $3 on your tickets, buy them ahead of time at area Kroger stores. Reporting live at the Dayton International Airport, Katie Houston, 2 News. Working for you.